Well, hello there, everyone. This is Iron Mark III, and welcome back to the Bosch Tangle on Factorio. Right now, I am just very quickly fixing my circuit board production setup because I have realized a oh, slightly kind of important mistake I've made. If you were paying attention more than I was in the previous video, you probably spotted this as I did it, but still. The fact that I fed iron plates into it instead of copper plates is just a um, whoops kind of, kind of deal. So yeah, I'm actually going to bleed a bit of iron plates off and now it can actually start producing stuff, which might actually be useful to have it doing compared to have it just sitting there doing nothing except for, well, nothing, effectively. <laughs> Oh, I've got that line in the wrong position as well. Lovely. There we go. Okay, that's that's got it all fixed. Right. And it'll start stocking them as well. Stock set three. That's actually going pretty fast for a um, five second production time. Oh yeah, I also extended it slightly by one when I noticed that it takes um, a full five seconds to make something. So yes, that's why I've done that. But anyway, on to what I wanted to do this particular video. I'm going to go on a little trip. So I'm just taking some coal out of my lines at the moment. Yeah, I have decided that I'm going to send my car out. And I'm sorry about the phone just then. It's, it has that really annoying habit of popping on when I don't want it to. And I can't do a thing about it, which is really freaking annoying sometimes, I must admit. Am I carrying any ammo? Not really. So let's dump my personal ammo into the vehicle machine gun. Dump some coal into it as well, so it's got that stuff. Should I take some rail along? Eh, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. What I should do, though, is stock up on a plenty of iron. And I've got far too much copper on me. So yeah, I'm just going to raid my iron stockpile and then I might as well take what rails I've got as well. Is that enough? Well, that, that's an absolute flipping ton. Okay, that should be more than enough iron. Sorry, more than enough rails, rather. I've got all the bits I might need. Yes, I have. Hmm, okay, yeah. So just grab a whole load of iron plates and then head off into the great wild unknown. Actually, let's dump some. Let's dump my alien artifacts as well because I don't need to be carrying them. I'll probably pick up some more sooner or later. Yep, just put those there. That's fine. Grab some cogs because I'm going to need them at some point as well. Is that all fine? Yep, that's all fine. That should be plenty. And now I should be ready to wander off. <laughs> Basically the idea is that um, I've been making slow but steady progress video upon video upon video and this time I've just decided effectively to hell with um, progress. Yeah, to hell with progress. I need to put some lead plate somewhere. Do I have anywhere that's using lead plate? I've got someone that's using some resin, so let's drop that there and get some more coal up, just in case. So yeah, to help with progress, I'm just going to go out and explore a bit this time around. Because quite simply, I've been planning to do that for a while, but I've never managed it in any base I've ever been on. So let's see, is it uh, E? No. Enter! Right, okay, there we go. Let's drive, shall we? Because I'm curious to see what exactly is out here. What did I just run over? Oh. <laughs> yeah, of course. That was that didn't that, that didn't go so long, did it? Oh come on, seriously! I'm finding all the trees. I think. Yeah. Right, my big score would ideally be iron ore deposits and things of that nature. Oh, jeez. Stop. Ah. 
Damn it. <laughs> Stupid nature getting in the way of my car. It's just... Why? Why do you do this to me, nature? Sheesh. Right. Ideally, I want to find some iron or coal deposits and things like that. Perfectly close together. That would also be good. But I need fresh sources of my basic resource types. To, be, to wit, iron, coal, copper. Ooh, speaking of, that's a huge deposit of iron there. Oops, nearly drove into a tree again. Yeah. This might be a good place to, to set up something. I do have no idea what those are. There are, however, aliens nearby. Yeah, there's a base very nearby and I crashed into a rock. Whee! Pay attention, dumbass. Right. There are blue things here which are... Groundwater. Oh, okay. Don't need it in this area, but still, that's a good find. There's no nearby source of coal, so there's something here would be actually solar power dependent. More like than anything else. Gold! 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 Tons of gold! Yes. Lovely. Ah, coal supply. With some, with some crude oil mixed in as well. Hmm. How unusual. But, oh, it is, is something that's quite interesting. Coal plus iron ore. Nice. This is actually a pretty decent spot, this. So I can put this to use. Let's see now. If I make... Um, what I need is... Um, to stop saying erm would probably be a good start. An offshore pump. A steam engine. That should be enough. And then I'm just going to tunnel this down and around. So is that far enough? Yep. So th this is why I grabbed a bunch of resources before I head out. So that I could actually, if I found a, a decent site like this, put up a kind of base. Like a small outpost kind of facility. So see, I'm going to need uh, two mines, a pair of furnaces, make the third furnace because I need to turn one of them into a boiler. Yes. Is that going to be good enough? I think it might be. Just need to make sure it's all plumbed in. Yep, okay. Uh, drop those two mines, one on the coal deposit up here, one on the iron ore deposit here. I need to produce some now. Some turrets would be good. Oh, and a radar. Okay, that's why I grabbed a load of cogs, but it's already going to take a while to make those. And then I'm going to turn this into a small refinery. Yeah, just just a small base, this. Will that be good? Yep, that should be good. Like that. Yep. Just basic inserters, because it doesn't need anything more than that. Now I'll make some stuff, and then there's a factory that's going to be over here. And the reason for this factory is so that it can make basic ammunition to keep the base defended. With a fast inserter there. Yep. And then it's just going to unload straight onto the belt, which will go around the outside perimeter, like so. And yeah. This is going to be just a little home from home kind of situation. Just to mark the place so that I can come out here and do some more stuff to it later. I'm exploring, I am. There we go. A circuit for ammo. Then lastly, I need to just surround it with walls and things. Yes. Mark 2 turrets actually have pretty decent range on them. So one there. Yep. One over here. Sure, that's fine. One here. Yep, and one here. Actually, no, let's put this one here. No, that's a sniper turret. What am I talking about? Gun turret mark two here. Okay. 
And then the snipers are just to help make sure that it stays nice and safe. Yeah, that should do the trick for it all. Let's pop them there. How many snipers was I making again? Why am I making... Oh, no wonder it's taking so long. Hmm. Okay. First things first, though. Get this place powered up a little bit. So, coal there. Very quick drop conveyor there. And then... I just need to put down a couple of power poles, don't I? One there. One there. Yeah, one over there. One there. One there, one there. Oops. Yep, one there. Right. One up here. Yep, one over here. Okay. Now just give it a drop of some, a little bit of coal just to see if that's enough to power it up. Come on. Are you alive? You are alive. Except that, that insert is the wrong way around. There we go, okay. Power, how are you doing for performance? Not enough power. Yeah, great, I need just another engine. Steam engine, give me another steam engine. So I find it. There it is. Right then, this is going to need a, f a few more bits and pieces actually, more than I was initially anticipating, but this shouldn't be too bad. Right. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, yeah, three. And then I'll put in a couple of steam engines like this. Then just pipe it all up and off it goes. Yeah, that should do it. Now, is that enough? Is that enough to keep you all satisfied and running well? Because I hope it is. Please tell me it is. I need, I need some tunnels. Three tunnels? Yeah, three tunnels. There we go. Okay, that should d just about do it. Assuming, of course, there's enough power for everything. I think there is. There is not. Okay, why is there not? What's taking all, all your power? The two electric drills are taking 90. The, the inserts are taking a little bit. The factory is... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, you are fully satisfied. Okay, never mind. I wasn't reading things properly. Hooray for me! Oops, just need to get around here. And these sniper turrets should help keep this entire base functioning. At least that's the the HML idea. Put one there. No, that's on the oil deposit. Ugh. Put a pair there. Yeah, that should do it. He says as he quickly rearranges. <laughs> right, is that good enough? Is that all done and ready? This base is not going to have very much by way of ammo supply, but it's going to have enough to keep things operational. At least it should. Oh, of course. I messed up again, I messed up again. That should do it. Yep, that's fine. There we go. Okay, this base is now autonomous and productive. 
All it needs now is just a few walls and it should be okay. I don't think I bought enough walls though. Did I? Better back my car out while I can. Right. I only bought um, a small reserve of walls, so... Yeah, it, it was enough though, apparently. Almost forgot the most important part though, a radar. To make sure that this thing can actually see around it. There we go. This place lives, it works, it breathes, it is okay, I think. It's not quite at full power, but it's going to be enough to keep it running. Okay, that's fine. That's enough for me. It's got some nearby bases, so I'm glad I put turrets into it now, though. And that will just arm itself over time. Whee! Off we go. Massive coal deposit, copper deposits. This, this is some good stuff, actually. I could definitely move out in this general direction later on and... Oh god, so many trees. <laughs> no way I'm taking my car through all that. What? Oops. Found another tree. What else are we finding? Massive open area. Desert. Hmm. Interesting. Not any... No ore deposits though down here. Oh, tungsten ore. That might be important later. Oops. Stop hitting trees. You nincompoop. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Bulk sites. That's for aluminium. Okay. Uh, with nickel down here as well. I don't think I've found any bulk site anymore so far. So that's actually a good find. Hmm. I am wandering pretty far from the base, but still. Some green, that is gemstones and titanium. Hey. I think that's a copper patch. Whoops. Hello, rock. How are you? I think that's a copper patch over there, isn't it? Yep, patch of copper. So I'm finding some scattered resources. That's a nickel. Massive alien base on it, though. Well, I say massive. It's fairly big. There's a couple in this area, it seems. Hmm. Very interesting. I better make some more turrets, actually, while I'm driving around. Uh, make some snipers and then some gun turret mark twos, if you please. Thank you. Oops, don't want to go into there. Don't want to... Yeah. <laughs> I seem to crash into everything. I'm definitely crashing into everything. Oh, oh that was so tight. Darn it. <laughs> World's best driver, right here, folks. There's another alien base over there. Oh, bunch of them, it seems. What's that? Stone deposit. Hmm. Not on my essentials list, but still good to know it's out here. But I'm going to have to build some rail links to get things moving between these sites. Whoa, whoops, run away. Didn't mean to draw them off. Damn it, I think they're going to chase me all the way back now. But that's a massive stone deposit down there. Yep, they're still chasing. Nuts. What are you guys, anyway? Infected biters. Not too much for me to handle. Yeah, you're mostly still smaller types, so I'm okay with you for now. Whoa! Oh, it's got this little machine gun on top of it. Hmm, that's new. Oops, drove into a lake. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, I think that's all of them. It is, but that's generated pollution, apparently. Killing them generates pollution. Hmm, I did not know that. Lots of rocks around here. Whoa! Yep, lots of rocks. Just drove straight into one. What's that? Some more quartz. Okay, that's I use that for glass, but that's all. Uh, stupid trees. Stop. Ugh. I will find all the trees. <laughs> what else have we got? 
Whoa, that's a big one. Run away. Don't want to go near that one. And there's another one just to my south as well. Uh, I've not seen any more base sites, but unfortunately that is also... That is also all the time I've got for this particular video. So, I've done some exploration. I've found a site which I can expand to in the future. And now I've got to slowly make my way back to base. What's that? Zinc and more gold. Ooh, and bauxite. Oh, good stuff to know. But I've still got to find my way back. Hmm. But yeah, that's it from the uh, Tabosh Tangle for now. This has been Iron Mark Three. Thank you for watching, and I had a flipping rock. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you some other time for some more Factorio. I'll see you later.